The grant is to be used for the Combat Wildlife Trafficking Project, spearheaded by World Wildlife Fund WWF and its civil society partners. The project was started in October last year as a way of recognizing the fact that wildlife crime is no longer driven by people seeking meat to feed a hungry family, but rather a greed-driven syndicate fueled by Asian demand of Africa's elephant ivory and rhino horns. Until recently, our empowering legislation that empowered both the communities and the private sector as to be conservation stewards, this was very effective. But you could see the wave that was coming toward Namibia by what was happening in other parts of Africa on elephants, by what was happening in southern Africa, particularly South Africa on rhino. And it was only a matter of time before it got here. The project grant is therefore meant to support the Environment Ministry and NAMPOL's anti-poaching interventions, as well as incentivize landowners and the 82 communal conservancies to fight wildlife crime, kick-starting a national wildlife crime secretariat. The multi-sector project made possible by this new grant aims to strengthen collaboration amongst protected area officials, communal conservancies, law enforcement, and freehold rhino custodian farms with the goal of improving wildlife crime detection, case development, and arrest and conviction rates. So far this year, Namibia lost 19 members of its iconic species, the rhino, mostly in the areas around the Etosha National Park and communal conservancies. These losses might um, not appear significant, compared to our neighboring countries, uh, especially South Africa. But the overall population of black rhino remains extremely small and fragile. The Namibian police force, the Minister of Environment and Tourism, and the Office of the Prosecutor General will, by the end of 2018, strive to ensure that all poaching incidents that result in the removal and trafficking of rhino horn are fully investigated and that those arrested will be prosecuted also under the prosecution of Organized Crime Act. The ministry is yet to announce the name of the person to head the anti-poaching unit at the newly established anti-poaching school at Waterberg. Blanche Corses, NBC News, Ventuk.